This is a screencast on how to run ChemSketch on a Mac at the York School. Step one is to go to the right hand corner, bottom right hand corner of your screen, and find your network drives folder. In this folder you'll, con you'll see there is a series of network drives that you can connect to at the York School. The one you're going to look for, however, is the York Terminal Server. This is a virtual server which will allow you to run PC apps off your computer. So let's double click that now. Once this opens, you're going to come on a series of boxes that you can just close. You can even hit don't show me this again. And you'll see that we load something that looks a lot like Windows. Let's continue and verify the certificate. So any pop-ups that come up, just click on them and click accept. So let's log in now with our York School username and password. This will look familiar if you've used a PC at the York School before. Any little prompts that come up once you log in, you should just dismiss. Just click OK. Now that we're here, it's time to look at what's on the desktop. We've got a series of apps, 3D Viewer, ArcMap, ChemSketch, and FileMaker Pro. We're going to be looking at ChemSketch and 3D Viewer for this particular video. To open up ChemSketch, just double click it and click OK. Now that we're in ChemSketch, we can get rid of the prompts and begin working. Should you want to save anything to uh, a file or a folder, you must save your ChemSketch files to your network space. This is your drive with your fi first initial and last name or the M drive as it's known. Save all files and all working documents to your network space. You cannot save them to the desktop because they will be deleted after the session. So all documents that you create save on your M drive and use the file save as feature available to do that. Navigate down, find your first initial last name on the M drive, and save whatever ChemSketch file you have to that space. From here, your chemistry teacher will take you through the available options and characteristics of this program. Once you're done, you can close it, and then we can do the same thing for 3D Viewer if we need to run it. The same thing applies here. Just dismiss any um, app or any uh, prompts that come up as they come up and work through the program. If you want to save any, um, any of this, do so on the M drive. And that's it.